PSR is an acronym for Buzz, Squeak, and Rattle. PSR is a test method by which we can quantify and measure the amount of noise that parts and subsystems make while under a vibration environment. Today's consumers have high expectations for their product choices. Car buyers also expect a high level of quality from their vehicles. Consumers want new vehicles to provide them with a quiet ride even when they drive over uneven roads. Manufacturers of automotive parts use BSR testing to quantify and when necessary troubleshoot the causes of automotive parts that make noise while under simulated road load conditions. The test laboratory has just informed you that your automotive part has failed its buzz squeak and rattle test. What do you do now? Even if the lab is accredited, it's always a good idea to verify that the noise issue is not fixture or shaker related. Ask to see the resonant performance for the fixture and the sound level performance for both the shaker and the fixture. Once you have established that the shaker and fixture sound level are acceptable, the next step is to identify the source of the sound and the frequency range in which it is exhibited. While we can assist with the initial troubleshooting, generally the design engineer will need to be on site inside of the quiet room environment for this to proceed effectively. Troubleshooting can be a time consuming process. The engineer will require extended quiet time inside of the quiet room up close to the DUT while it is vibrated at test level. Large durability shakers with noisy cooling blowers are not quiet enough and will mask the BSR noises you are trying to find and fix. Troubleshooting involves listening for the noise and will likely require a combination of opening and closing a component or applying hand pressure to turn the noise on and off as well as touching, feeling, pushing and or pulling on the DUT at various locations. BSR vibration test profiles are usually random PSDs, which expose the DUT to the entire test frequency range. Sign excitation or a swept sign at low test levels can be used to identify individual frequencies which are causing the issue. Stethoscopes can also be used to listen to locations inside of the DUT which would otherwise be inaccessible. Once the BSR issue is identified, the engineer can use various mitigation approaches. Usually a redesign with the inherent cost and time required is the least favored direction. Many BSR issues can be remedied with the application of lubricant or BSR tape applied at the location of the noise. Lubricants such as grease are sometimes used as well as BSR cushioning tape. Once a fix has been identified and implemented, the DUT may need to be BSR tested again after it is subjected to a durability vibration test to confirm the effectiveness of the fix over the life of the DUT.